really feels like the BOJ has taken centre stage this week in the Fed's place. And the reaction that we've seen to this latest language from the BOJ is interesting to watch. No doubt you've also heard it's pushed dollar yen to 151. So, Rob, what is the intervention point if there is one on the currency? And how are you viewing the outlook for Japan at this point? Dan, you're so right. Center stage is now on Japan as it does a very difficult transition from yield curve control or YCC as it's known, which has been terribly boring for a decade. And now that our new governor, Weta, is making his mark, it is really trying to steadily and slowly change the dramatic interest rate differential of 400 basis points between the U.S., really expensive to hedge from a Japanese perspective, real impact on the currency. And I do think the, remember the central bank does rates, but it is the uh, governor of the Ministry of Finance who impacts on intervention. I think there's a little bit of tension between doing steady rate rises and slowing the decline in the yen. And so balancing those two for the central bank and the Ministry of Finance is a difficult balance. And we're watching Japan do that over the past, really the whole year. And I think we'll continue to watch that as we, as we see growth coming back to Japan, but impact on the currency particularly. Do you think Japanese equities might have further to run from here? We're already seeing the Nikkei up 2% today. I think the markets are excited about the opportunity for growth in Japan and many of the big exporters benefiting from a weaker yen. So that story seems to have played out well this year. It is the top performing index, if I'm not mistaken, on a year on year basis in local currencies. So they have moved a long way. But I do think there's belief in international markets, again, hedged that uh, the Nikkei and there's growth back in Japan and there's some exciting valuations of businesses in in uh, in Japan broadly.